I couldn't resist sharing this case with you, which Antonina showed me. It's an absolutely gorgeous case, and the, the diagnosis is in itself not difficult. It's just one doesn't see it as often in such a, a beautiful fashion. This is a, a, a case of a patient who suffers from gout, and these are, this is a gouty tophus and it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, when one is looking at a patient with gout, ideally one, one should get the specimen fixed in alcohol because uric acid is water soluble. But unfortunately, it's almost as rare as hen's teeth that you actually ever get that. And much more commonly, we see gout that's been processed in a normal fashion and so the uric acid crystals largely get dissolved during processing. Now gout is, uh, is a disorder of, of uh, purine metabolism and it may be inherited but much more commonly we see it as, a, as an acquired disorder. It's particularly seen in, in, uh, in patients with renal disease and those on hemodialysis when uric acid excretion is impaired. Um, but we may also see it due to excessive uh, production as, 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 as occurs, for example, in, uh, in patients with diabetic keto ketoacidosis, in, in starvation, in sarcoidosis, in psoriasis, and we may also see it in patients with um, myeloproliferative disorders. So mostly when we see it, it's a secondary phenomenon. And even with um, water dissolving at the crystals, it's, it's still instantly recognizable. It doesn't really have a differential diagnosis. And if we look at this, we can see large amorphous deposits of material forming this huge aggregate, which would have been the nodule that the patient would have presented with. So let's look at this at a slightly higher magnification. And um, it's really one of the nice things is if you have a reasonable section, and it's a great big tophus, the, um, the uh, water dissolving the uric acid doesn't completely wipe it out and one can get some very nice crystalline outlines uh, as I'll show you in a, in a moment or two. But I want to go here first of all because this is what one typically sees when it's a, a small fragment of tissue. You tend to see these grayish blue granular deposits often uh, associated with scar tissue and frequently there are multinucleate giant cells around the edge and we'll look at that in higher power here now. Now isn't that just gorgeous? So at, at the top magnification we can make our multinucleate giant cells and there's this grayish blue material and you can make out that there is a feathery uh, crystalline nature to the to the deposit. Uh, now if I go back to a lower magnification we'll have a look over here where it really gets uh, quite spectacular. Let's have a look in this bit now and see what's going on. You see, you can make out the crystals quite nicely because um, they haven't been completely wiped out. And that, there you are. That's, that's as nice a gout as you could ever ask for. And it really doesn't matter in this patient that uh, the specimen did, was not fixed in alcohol. It's just perfect. So that's really all I have to say on this case. It's a very quick video, but I had to share it with you. It's such a beautiful, such a beautiful example of a gouty tophus. Let's just end. We'll end on that field there. Isn't that beautiful?
So, if any of you haven't seen gout, which I doubt very much, but if you're just beginning your career in, in pathology, uh, that's the nicest example of gout that you could ever ask for. So thank you so much, Antonina, for sharing it with us. And I hope uh, that you've enjoyed looking at this case. Thank you very much.